Hey folks, it's Aaron from AT Outdoors. This is uh, my second take because I forgot to put it on video. <laughs> but uh, I'm out here in the back on the little makeshift uh, trellis that I put together from a old twin mattress frame. It was given to me by my in-laws. Um, got some red beans that my five-year-old wanted to plant, so we started them out in the kitchen window. Uh, they're going next to my 1,500-year-old cave beans. I only had three of those that actually uh, came up. The rest of them got uh, out of the six. The, the rest of them got attacked by uh, fungus gnats, which uh, I need to alter the way I water everybody to keep it from becoming anoxic and uh, giving them a good habitat. But uh, let me get set up here and I'll start working on the red beans. Alright folks, I don't know if you can see me or not, but uh, this is the trellis that I created. Or just threw together real quick. It's uh, screwed into the wall up top. It's a uh, twin mattress. Uh, twin mattress uh, bed frame that uh, was in a scrap pile over at my in-laws house and they went ahead and let me have it for, for this. Uh, here are the red beans that we've got. Um, I'm going to split them into small groups uh, and just plant them across the bottom down here. And uh, hopefully in the near future we start seeing everybody just take over and uh, do good out here. So, here we go. Gonna clear out some of this uh, grass. Hopefully soon I can get rid of all of this stuff out here. It is not what I want growing out here. Uh, it's in water from a tank over there. That nice and hydrated. I know their the soil they had in there was already hydrated. And these are watered from earlier when I came out. And gave them a nice little drink. But there we go. Uh, something else, huh? I need to watch out where I'm putting stuff. Something else y'all might be excited to see. Over here, this over here is my uh, sunchokes or Jerusalem artichokes. Let's see, we got one popping up right there. I got about two pounds in the ground in this. It's a small area for two pounds, but um, it's kind of my temporary holding area. So we got that little guy, this one, this one. Another one is over here, barely poking up. Um, overall, I'm really excited about everything that's going on over here at the uh, ATE Outdoors Homestead. And uh, in the future, I hope I get to put out more content and keep on uh, pushing on. Thanks, you guys have a good one.